श्री गुरुभ्यो नम नमस्ते आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द फोर्थ सेशन ऑफ आवर क्लासेस देवनागरी स्क्रिप्ट फॉर संस्कृत नाउ लेट अस डू दिस सो फार वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द रो कॉन्सनेंस द लेटर्स वेर फाइव फाइव लेटर्स इन ईच रो एंड वी हैव सीन फाइव रोस नाउ वी विल सी अ सेट ऑफ फोर लेटर्स there is 4 plus 4 totally 8 letters remaining in this uh, devanagari script which we have to complete so out of the, these eight letters uh, we are out of these eight letters we shall be doing four letters today and the remaining will take in the next class so these are the um, avargiya vyanjanani they are unclassified uh, uh, consonants so the first one of this is y this letter is y this letter is y let me show how to write y so we start with one small curve like this and then with this curve we take a smiley up like this and then this curve and then a smiley all the way up then down so it is very similar to th if you can recall but there is no loop on the top this is coming down and then the shiro rekha this is y that is why when we write th there has to be that loop and there has to be that gap between the shiro rekha and the loop otherwise we may uh, get confused with y so this is y how did we write we started with a reverse c curve then a smiley all the way up then straight down and then the shiro rekha this is y this is we have already covered all the letters here so this is na y na m na y nam na y nam this is y and this this sound comes here sandwiched between the two na's na y nam na y nam okay so the next one is r this letter is r now you remember we told that uh, to uh, say each letter we add we suffix kara to it so this is yakara we don't call this as rakara for this letter alone from uh, of all the letters there are 48 letters that we are going we are studying in devanagari script only this letter is not called a rakara it is called repha repha this is repha okay so this letter r is written like mm, we start with a curve like this this and then this line so it is a c curve kind of thing uh uh-huh, ha sorry so we start with a curve like this a c curve and then a slanting line a c curve in the reverse and a slanting line and the shiro rekha this is r r how did we write a reverse c curve and a slanting line and the shiro rekha oh i don't know why it is not i'm not able to write that. okay this is slightly better so this is r r and it is uh, if we have to refer to r we don't say rakara we say it is repha okay this is r d and a visarga so this is read as radah radah this word is radah let us see the next one this letter is l this letter is l so for l there are two ways to write l let me show you first one which is like this first step then in the second step we put one straight line like this so we are kind of drawing one heart like thing which is incomplete and then we draw this uh, vertical line and then put the shiro rekha 
This is L. L. So another way of writing L is you uh, put a three like structure and then to this three structure you put one vertical line like this. Uh oh. So what did we do? We started with a three like structure which is sleeping facing down. To this we are going to add the vertical line. So this is L. L. So the other one which we drew was a heart kind of a thing which doesn't get completed like this. We stop and then one vertical line and then the shirorekha. So this is L. And the word is L V NAM. La va na m la va nam. This is la va nam la va nam. And then the fourth letter here is v. This is v. So let us see how to write v. So if I hope you can recall how we wrote b. Uh, so it is very similar to b. So we start with a. Uh, C curve, but we don't, or uh, we curve it more, but we don't complete it as a circle. And then to this, we add, uh, we draw one vertical line. So it is like this, and the vertical line. Then the shiroreka. This is v. This letter is v. V. So. There is a difference between the pronunciation of V and okay. So this letter is V, and in the pavarga we saw a letter B, which is written very similar to V, but there is this slanting line inside here. It is not present. Now, when we say b, both the lips meet, and that sound is getting articulated. But when we are saying v, the lips do not meet. The uh, upper row of teeth and the lower lip meet, and the sound that gets articulated then will be v, v, not b. It is v. So one should not. Uh, get confused between these two sounds. They are totally different. When we make use of both the lips, I mean both the lips uh, are in touch or they get in contact with each other, then bakara sound comes. And if it is the uh, upper row of uh, teeth and the lower lip, then the sound that is produced is bakara. V. Okay, because in Eastern India. Uh, most commonly, you uh, you hear the uh, letter B in place of V. So when we are reading Sanskritam, we should be very conscious where it is V and where it is B, because the meaning of the word would change if we are not conscious of this. So for V, we have the example Vanam, V Na M, Vanam, Vanam. This is Vanam. So I invite participants to come and uh, read these letters, these four letters, along with the words. Ranam, R, R, D, H, L, L, V, N, M, V, V, N, M. Thank you. Thank you. Ya, Nayanam, R, R, D, H. ल लवणम व वनम थैंक यू या रा ल व या नायनम र रदह ल लवणम व वनम थैंक यू या नायनम र Radha, la, lavanam, va, vanam. Thank you. 
Sylvia, Nainam, R, Radafa, R, Vavanam, R, Vanam. Thank you. Yeah. Na, naya, naya nam, r, rai, rada, rada, ha, yeah, la, la ba nam, ba, ba ya nam. What was the last one? Again, ba. Ah, okay, thank you. Here, yeah. Nayanam, R, Radha, L, Lavanam, V, Vanam. Okay, so uh, let me read for Yakara. Y, Ya, Y, Y. Yu yu r r l y y yo yo for rakara r ra ri ri ru ru r r l re rai ro rau then for lakar this is i said rakara i am so sorry this is repa so for repa it goes like R ra ri ri ru ru r r l re rai ro rau for lakara l la li li lu lu l r l le lai lo lau and finally vakara v Va, bi, bi, vu, vu, br, br, l, be, vai, vo, vau. So, can you quickly come on Q&A and read uh, uh, these uh, these Gunitaksharani? Uh, so, here I want to say that uh, uh, some of these forms like uh, l, then r, r, l, and L. Their usage is very limited. Um, so, um, if you are, you just try to um, read this uh, Bunita Aksharam. If you don't get it also, don't worry. Okay. So, let me. Ya, ya, yi, yi, yu, 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 l, e, i, yu, Yau. Uh, what was the Gunitakshram uh, when we combine uh, Aikara? Yai. Ha, yai. Okay. Thank you. Ro, ra, ri, ri, ru, 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 Ray, ro, row. Okay, repeat all the last four. Uh, ray, 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 ro, row. The sound has to be more protracted. You have to elongate it more. Yeah. Ray, ray, ro, row. Yeah, better. Thank you. La, la, li, li. Lu, 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 le, lai, lo, lau. Thank you. Wa, wa, bi, bi, wu, wu, vru, 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 ve, vai, vo, wau. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, ye, ye, you, you, yer, 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 
ये यही यू जाओ थैंक यू ओके सो वी कम टू दिस एक्सरसाइज फॉर द डे सो टुडे वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द पावर ग एंड देन वी हैव सीन यर लव from the uh, unclassified consonants our giya vyanjanani so you please write them all down in the notebook twice and then uh, you write the gunitaksharani for these letters the nine letters that we have learned today and then please uh, do this exercise uh, 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 i insist that you all do this because uh, it will improve our uh, reading skills and writing skills so you um, read them out loudly record it and listen it back uh, to know whether the pronunciation is right or not and uh, with that we come to the end of this session um, let me close this with a prayer and those who have any doubts can please stay back after the prayer we'll uh, open the q and a again om sarve bhavantu sukhinah सर्वे सन्तु सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चि दुख भाग भवे ओ शाति 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 धन्यवाद